Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Thank you for staying with us. We have an artist in the studio now that is no other than Selassie. And today we're going to be finding out everything and more about him. How are you doing? Hey, I'm good. Nice to meet you. Lina. You too, you too. So tell me a bit about yourself. Who is Selassie? Okay, Selassie is an uh, Afrobeat urban artist. I've lived all my life in Lagos, so my music is basically inspired by Lagos, the energy, the people, everything. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So you would, would you put yourself or classify yourself as an Afrobeats artist? Yeah, I will, yeah. Okay, okay. And how long have you been in the industry for? Uh, professionally, that was since I finished school. That was last year. So one year. Where did you go to school? I schooled in Ghana. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. So you came back, went straight into the music straight, industry. Yeah. Did you always have a passion for music or you came back and you thought that that was meant to be for you or how did you come about it? Yeah, I always did. But, you know, when I was in school, I didn't really explore because school was really, really tasking. and I studied engineering, so I had to focus on my books. But when I came back, I was like, OK, now I have some free time. So what do I do? So I decided to follow my passion and here we are. Interesting, interesting. So since you delved into the music industry a year ago, what has the experience been like? It's been bittersweet. You know, music in Nigeria is very difficult. Everybody knows. And, um, but it's been good. You know, when you have a passion for something, when you love something, you're willing to go the extra mile for it. So. Okay, so what would you say the challenges are? What makes music in Nigeria so difficult? Okay, there are so many challenges. Uh, first of all, infrastructure. Yeah, there's no lights always so it's difficult you there's always hidden costs no matter what you do and secondly you know the nigerian way of doing things it's very very shady there's no yeah and serious lack of mentorship so you need to figure out things yourself but do you have a mentor i don't but i kind of have role models yeah. who would you say are your role models okay uh fella is my greatest inspiration uh, okay. yeah and those inspired by him like whiskey like bonaboy we really look up to them. Nice. But Fela is my greatest inspiration. Okay, I, let me actually put you on the spot then. Okay. So Berna puts out Ye towards the start of the year. Halfway yeah. through the year, he drops the Ye video. A lot yeah. of people had their own emotions about that video. People yeah. were saying that they didn't really like the video. They didn't vibe with it. Personally, okay. I completely disagree. I loved the video. But it's what was your take? It's a great video, though. I expected it to be more political. Yeah? Yeah. yeah uh, I, I know a lot of Nigerians share the same sentiment. Mm -hmm. I expected it to be more political, more, you know, angry. It seemed like he was showing off the good side of life and it didn't show the, the angry side of life enough. But it was a good video, it was great. It showed where he is, you know, mm -hmm. in his career, where he is as a person, his present mind state, and I can't fault him for that. Yeah. yeah, interesting, interesting. Now, it's often said that because the music industry is booming like crazy, Selassie, yeah. apparently, a lot of people think that it may just be a bit saturated, especially when it comes to the genre of Afrobeats, Afro right? Yeah, yeah. Would you agree with that opinion? I actually do. So many times, especially this year, I was like, why am I doing this thing? Everybody wants to do it. And personally, I don't like doing something that everybody wants mm. to do because I feel like then what's the need? But I can't leave music because it's, it's something that will haunt me if I do. So but well, everybody wants to do music. They feel like it's a get rich quick. Kind so then what thing. do you do when you're in a market that's saturated? You create a niche, no? Yeah, yeah, that's So what, what is do. Selassie's niche? Well, I feel like my niche is that I can go more streets than everybody else. But I mean to say it that way. I, I can portray the raw emotions the way it is. I don't really care about how you feel. Okay, yeah. interesting, interesting. Yeah. Now, I want to know all about your new single. Okay. I am very sure that our viewers want to know all about your new single. So tell us a bit about Based On. Yeah, Based On. Based On is a song that came to me out of the blue. It's, it's one of those songs that you do, you don't plan for. Kind of like he. And I was in the studio that day with my friends, Selassie family. They are not here today, but you'll be seeing them some other time. And we're just like, hey, we don't have a song together, so let's just do a song together. And before that song, we were just talking about, you know, how difficult it is to live in Nigeria. And one of my guys were like, yo, my rent is up. My landlady has been disturbing me. So I took the inspiration from there and started the song. And my landlady finally come today. Uh, she told me, say, I get bills to pay. So with the O, so then cut light yesterday. And for this, I was vibing with it. I was vibing with it. The beats came up and yeah, we made a jump. Nice. So did you write it yourself? I did, yeah. I write all my music myself. Nice, nice. So let's speak about working with producers here in Nigeria. Okay. How do you find it? There are certain people who are breaking into the industry that are learning how to produce for themselves because they just don't want to rely on anyone for anything. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was one of those people before, and uh, I even tried to learn production myself. But uh, it's not my thing, because 
I'd rather be making the music. If I had 12 hours in a day, I'd rather spend 12 hours writing songs than spend time making bits. So I still outsource to producers. But like I said, Nigeria way of doing things, everything is literally more complex than it should be. So you just have to manage. Nice. Okay. So Lassie, you and I are about to play a little game. Okay. So I am going to name certain people. Okay. They can be in music, politics, okay. wherever. Okay. And as soon as I name them, you have three seconds. The first word that comes to your head, okay. it has to be appropriate. This is still daytime TV. Okay, okay, <laughs> the okay, first okay. word that comes to your head okay. is what I want to hear. Okay. okay. I'm going to start off with your role models. Burna Boy. Fearless. Wizkid. Amazing. President Muhammad Bahari. Stressful. <laughs> Files the bad guy. Ah. Mama, ah, he's a legend. Ah, <laughs> kudos. I love you. Okay, okay, Tiwa Savage. Ah, ah, can I see sexy? Yeah, yeah that's fine. Yeah, she's sexy. Yeah. Richard Mofer Damijo. Ah, sugar daddy. <laughs> so bad. I want to be like him when I grow up. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. He's so cool. He's so cool. He and is he's, so he's, cool. He's so in shape, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, he is. Okay, okay, let me go for some people who are breaking into the industry. Okay. Uh, Budge, the Abbey. Ah, Alte. Yeah, I love Budge. What do you think about that Alte word? Uh, because I've been seeing some tweets recently yeah. from a lot of people who are often referred to as Alte, Alte saying yeah. that stop calling us Alte, Alte just because we know how to dress. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> you know, but they are, they are doing the wrong. I saw those tweets myself. I was like, ah, you know, you can't tell Nigerians what to do. They'll mm. do the opposite. If you tell them stop calling me Alte, they'll keep calling you Alte, you know. But yeah, you know, Alte started off as, like the word implies, an alternative to the mainstream. And now it's becoming mainstream, so people don't know how to address them anymore. But Budge is one of the original Alte people, one of the pioneers of the whole lifestyle, you know. So he deserves to be called Alte, but some people don't actually live the lifestyle, so they don't even want to be called mm. Alte. But trust Nigerians always like putting things in the box. Boxing everybody yeah, into one. Together. All these guys are it helps, Alte. Yeah, it helps <laughs> us to identify, yeah. Okay, let's move back to our game. I'm okay. thinking of some people to name for you. I'm trying to, maybe I should go into acting for a bit. Okay, cool. Or should I go into state government? Actually, let me ask you about your governor, Ambode. Ah, Ambode. Ah, Ambode, Ambo. Your three seconds has passed since. Ah. <laughs> I didn't know I was being timed. <laughs> okay, okay, moving on to the next person. Femi Otedola. Ah, Otedola with the money. <laughs> dice sales. Yeah, dice sales. Um, cool, cool. Okay, Dangote. Yeah. Ah, money. See, whenever <laughs> I, I hear Dangote, I just think of billions, like billions. And nine digits are nothing less. Nothing less, nothing, nothing less. less, nothing less. Nothing less. Let's even speak about that. Billions. Now. Yeah. What is it like in terms of remuneration in the, in the music industry as an upcoming artist? Okay, like I said before, this is to every upcoming artist mm. that might be watching me. If you're an upcoming artist and you're going into music for money, forget it. Because first of all, you're going to suffer. Secondly, you're going to spend upfront. So you might look at Whiskey and be like, Whiskey is balling, ah, David is balling. You didn't see when they were investing, you didn't see when they were spending. So if you don't have the patience and the financial muscle to you know, wait it out, do something else that will bring the money quickly, or do something else that will bring money quickly before going into music. Yeah, because music doesn't pay immediately. You will spend time, even when you start to make a name for yourself, you still spend time pushing that name. So, mm. but yeah. do you also feel as though people are all rushing into the same markets? I look at someone like Asha, yeah, for example. Yeah, if Asha is in Lagos, you will not know she that can't she's in Lagos. Know she's in Inter Lagos. How do you even contact her for interview? Do you understand? Yeah. She's in her own lane, doing yeah, her own thing, like, because yeah. she understands the music business. business do you yeah. think that that is what it's going to take at this point for a lot of artists to succeed? There's absolutely no choice, because you know the old, the old rules, the old game is no longer the same game. You know everything is changing at the speed of light. The internet has opened everything mm. up. So if you want to compete at the game, and the old game already has um, grandmasters, you have people mm. who have who have dynasties there, so it's going to be difficult to take away what they have. So like you said in the beginning, creating a niche, you know, doing something different, understanding your target audience and trying to appeal to them directly. Don't disturb yourself trying to be David doing one year. No, it's not going to work. So find those who love you. They might be on your street, they might be in your school, they might be on your campus. Appeal to them first and take it from there. Let me put you on the spot. What do you want for yourself in the next five years? Five years. I, I pray to be an inspiration 
to as many people as possible in five years. I want them to look at me and be like, yo, he made it so I can make it. So. Nice. And if you could collaborate with one artist in Nigeria, I'm going to do Nigerian International. One okay. artist, no, Nigeria, then Africa, then International. One okay. artist in Nigeria, who would it be? In Nigeria, just one? Just one. Oh my God. Oh, it's not easy. It's not easy. <laughs> What could Bonabo be a dream come true? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Africa as a whole. Can I see another Nigerian yeah, artist? Yeah, you can. You can. Uh, whiskey, though. <laughs> whiskey, whiskey is a blessing. You know, whiskey is gifted. He yeah. just needs to touch you. It's like, you know, in the Bible, they started to go religious. They said, yeah. if I could just touch the hem of his yeah. garments. Yeah. Whiskey touches the hem of your garment or it touches the hem of his garment. It's a different story. So everybody would like to work with Whiskey. Nice. Yeah. International. One artist, if you could collaborate, who would it be? Just one. Hmm. Hmm. The Weeknd. The weekend. Yeah. Nice. I love the weekend. I love the weekend. Now, every Wednesday on Hello Nigeria, it's Women Wednesday. Okay. Right? So, normally we even have female guests. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but today I want you to give a shout out to your WCW. Can be anyone. Who is it? My mother. You and Chukudi are the same. Shout out, Mrs. Caroline Okonko. I love you. You're the greatest. Thanks for being my backbone, my pillar of support. And Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. So Based On is out now. How can people stream it, find it, etc., buy it, and also contact you? Yeah, it's everywhere. It's on um, iTunes. It's on, every, it's on every single platform, about 22 music stores, Deezer, Tidal, Boomplay, wherever you like, you know, SoundCloud, get anywhere. I'm on all social media platforms. I'm on Instagram as Selassie Family, Snapchat as Selassie Family, on Facebook as Selassie. So hit me up. Let's talk. If you want to work with me, hit me up. But you pay us, but you hear me up. <laughs> to enjoy more of these our Ogonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.